Microsoft Word Spelling, Grammar, and Style Checker can be a great asset as you write. The checker underlines misspelled or unrecognized words in red and grammar and style concerns in blue. You can access your spelling and grammar checker by going to the Review tab and selecting Spelling and Grammar. The tool will quickly run a check on your document. Then, you can right-click on an underlined portion and select a correction, or you can use the editor window that appears. The newer versions of Word also have a read aloud option. It's impossible for a writer to accurately proofread his or her own document, but hearing your document read in another voice will often alert you to problems that you missed. To access this tool, Click on the Read Aloud Speech option in the Review Grouping. Then, use the toolbar that appears. I recommend first clicking on the Settings tool and adjusting Reading Speed to below the halfway mark. Now, click on the Play arrow to begin. Using words spelling, grammar, and style checkered. Emoticons are keyboard characters used in online environments such as the smiley face, sad face, and angry face. To adjust the settings on Word Spelling and Grammar Checker, click on File and then Options at the very bottom. In the dialog box that appears, click on Proofing. Now you can check and uncheck boxes according to your needs and preferences. For example, here you can turn off the Check Spelling as You Type function, which some writers prefer to avoid interrupting their train of thought. Next to Writing Style, you can select to check Grammar Only or Grammar and Refinements. To get the most benefit, select Grammar and Refinements. To toggle these elements on and off, click on Settings. The Grammar Settings window appears. You can see that the Grammar items are enabled by default. However, notice that most of the options toward the bottom are not enabled. Tick the checkbox next to any rule you want to enable. For example, if you're writing a document that should not contain contractions, place a tick in that box. Upon rechecking our document, notice that the contraction has now been flagged. Do the same for other conventions that may apply to what you're writing. The Oxford comma is the comma that comes before AND when it precedes the last item in a list. This comma is required in legal writing, for example. After checking this option, notice that the absence of a comma is now flagged in our sample document. However, in some writing, such as journalism, the Oxford comma is not used. If you ever want to undo your changes and reset the checker to its default settings, click Reset All and OK. Finally, Keep in mind that this checker only alerts us to a potential problem. The checker leaves it up to us to know enough about the problem to make our own revision. As writers, we cannot rely solely on a computer program. Instead, we must use the information it provides to make our own decisions about our writing and its intended audience.